Hi, and welcome to 10 years anniversary of Xiaopan. Today, we have a huge event. It's a big amount of cars just outside of the venue. We have new Mona release beside the anniversary itself. So, as we can see, we have more than 20 cars around. And here on this side, we start from pink, black, white, gray, and blue. So these are the five main colors of Mona, which we're gonna see this year. On the other side, we can see also plenty of uh, other models of Xiaopan. So let's get in the car and see what's inside. So outside, the car looks pretty nice. If you take a look at it in real life, it's much better than it was on the pictures before. Uh, the headlights is completely new design. It's nothing like we can see in traditional Xiaopan cars. So there were talks that Mona would have completely new branding in the future, that it would not be a part of Xiaopan name. But for now, they still went with Xiaopan logo and behind the car, we can also see like Xiaopan, uh, not Mona. Uh, in the whole car, there are basically no Mona signs so far. But I think design is coming from the, uh, from the designers, let's say. It's not made by engineers. You can see the whole car is super aerodynamic with a drag coefficient of 19, uh, 0.94. Uh, and uh, in front here, we have uh, the grill, which can open and close based on the situation. So uh, yesterday we had a meeting uh, with the uh, brand manager and brand manager told us that this is very important part of design to create even better drag coefficiency. Uh, while car is driving on the highway uh, with the speed of 80 kilometers an hour per hour and higher than that. Uh, besides that, he was explaining us uh, this small uh, element of design here, this tiny, tiny wing. He said that it's also dictated by the designers to create the uh, drag coefficiency and make it even lower. Uh, they said the consumption of this car will be around 11 kilowatt hours per hour. Per, per hour. It's gonna be really crazy. Uh, I haven't seen this size of the car with this consumption so far. Uh, Space-wise, I think the car is very nice. Uh, it's pretty big. Uh, it was uh, built by DD originally. We learned about this before as well, right? Uh, it was designed for taxi drivers. And there are lots of small features which originally were designed for DD. Uh, but basically, this is one of the best part of this car, I think, uh, which is coming from DD, a huge hatch. We can put, uh, I think they said around six suitcases inside. It's more than 600 liters of space. And inside, there is one more sub trunk. So it's pretty spacious. Uh, if the seat goes down, uh, both of seat go down, there are gonna be uh, more than 1,000 liters of space. But the thing that uh, it's not flat. So for the lovers of camping, I'm not sure how convenient it will be to sleep like with the angle of 25 or 30 degrees. But you can try anyway. The car doesn't have, uh, we, we don't have here any soft closing, but the door sounds pretty solid. Uh, considering the price range of this car, uh, it seems and feels quite nice. Uh, inside the door, uh, yesterday we've learned about this part that they put a special plastic, which is, uh, designed for wear and tear so it won't be destroyed that easily it won't be damaged if you use it a lot because this car is the main audience on this car is young people and young people they don't treat the car maybe as uh, outer generation they kind of don't care right so this car is kind of wear and tear proof and I think young people are gonna enjoy it really a lot I think this car is designed definitely for Chinese customers and for Chinese market because the tall guy like me, uh, 6.4 feet or 193 centimeters, I can barely fit in behind. I cannot imagine to have a ride for like even one hour sitting behind in this car. However, I've tried the front seat. The front seat is pretty okay. It's very spacious and it's more than enough space. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just done because of the hatch and uh, again to cut the drag coefficient to make it much lower. Uh, but for European markets, I'm not sure this is gonna really work very, very well. For Chinese market, it's gonna be a perfect car for sure because every Chinese person is much shorter than me. Yeah, it's trying to get out. Ugh. Oof. The space in front is a totally different story. Here we have more than enough space. It's very, very spacious, it's very airy, and you, you feel that it's very much like 
Tesla style. Uh, there is no HUD here in this car. There is only steering wheel, the camera here, and the main screen. Uh, I have pretty much enough space in front, and I'm pretty sure behind me any typical Chinese person can fit in without any issue. Uh, Storage-wise, uh, we have two cup holders here. We have pretty deep storage inside here and uh, two USB ports in front. Also, we have a little storage here uh, for the cup and uh, for some personal belongings. This car has the glove box, which is very, very rare recently. Majority of car manufacturers just remove it for some reason. Uh, this is PU, I feel. Uh, it's not leather. It's not artificial leather, let's say. Uh, it's, it feels very soft, very smooth. And the color, the color is just beautiful. I love this blue color, both outside and inside. Uh, the top is white, a little bit grayish, not really white. But it looks pretty good because of the panoramic rooftop, which is huge. I think it's even bigger than Tesla Model Y. It looks, feels bigger, very, very airy. And yeah, the screen, the screen is really good. Uh, I'm not sure what processor is it. I think it's a Snapdragon, but not sure. They will release it tonight. Uh, very, very fast, very responsive. And it's very different from traditional uh, Xiaopan uh, in infotainment system. Here we have also new uh, app store. You can download the stuff, uh, the apps you want to watch, the, the movies or the apps to listen music, to play some games. And the uh, product manager told us yesterday they will have a big uh, app store inside. So in the future, there are going to be more and more apps and different games inside, uh, inside here. Uh, he also said that they are position, positioning this car for younger generations, so they will have some uh, Tesla style, maybe funny things or some, some jokes to scare your passenger, your friend or surprise them. A uh, very interesting thing which came from DD, uh, which I wanted to share is about uh, this thing, the peach. This is basically for the massage for uh, your back and your butt basically. So for DD, original DD drivers, they drive for a very long time and they get tired. So you have like special uh, software and it's connected to your hard to hardware in the car, which helps you to like flex your body from bottom to, to up. And there are also a lot, lots of other stuff when you can like use the uh, steering wheel to make some sound like, and it's gonna count. Uh, how many times you do it like every time it will create the sound similar to what Buddhist monk uh, clicking when they are want to relax or concentrate on something so here is the same you can also keep clicking it and it will make the same traditional wooden sound like tuck 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 so if you are really tired in the traffic jam and you want to a little bit relax and come down get into some meditation state you can probably use it as well not sure how good is it for foreigners but it's fun <laughs> it's really fun <laughs> uh, uh, yeah uh, let's try sound mm, I don't think there is any Dolby Atmos or any like 3d uh, audio here but the sound is pretty clear and it's loud uh, it seems there are at least uh, two four six Probably 12 speakers, not sure though yet, but I think at least at least 12 speakers, maybe even more than that. Uh, so it creates a pretty decent sound. Uh, I would say the bass is not too deep, but it's enough for daily driving and listening to music like on the way to work and back. So don't really think that fans of music would really appreciate it. But we would know more details uh, later during the event. Uh, the CEO gonna release all the information soon because for now it's just a guess. What I really like about this car is the feeling uh, of the door opening and closing. Uh, it feels very, very solid. It doesn't really feel like a cheap car. It feels like a very solid car built by the company which knows what are they doing and how they're doing. So uh, yeah, just, just very excited about the price for now because car feels really good. So after uh, looking at this car and sitting in this car, I can tell that I'm pretty excited. The car looks very, very nice. It looks pretty. It looks 
very solid and very nicely built. Uh, I'm very excited to hear the price about for, for this car and more details about the battery and uh, other uh, like speakers information and other tech details. So stay tuned for more. See you guys. Wow guys, I am really impressed. After the event, we the, the Chopin reviewed the price and, and we are really impressed. From 12 to below 16, hundred thousands is a very low price like 120 thousands for this car with autonomous driving even l3 it's a very very low price and getting to 160 below 160 thousand this car doesn't have that much of competition uh, everything we've seen today starting from the technology which this car packed with which is a pretty much a leader in the market within this uh, a class cars and up to the self-developed chip up to the humanoid robots and flying car being released so soon it is really impressive and it's good news for Chopin I believe this car gonna be a trend for a lot of young people who cannot afford something more than 200,000 and who want a stylish beautiful car with five major colors and all the technology inside so I hope it will be a really great chance for Xiaopan to penetrate this uh, A-level market, uh, A-category. So congrats Xiaopan, thank you, see you.